Hey everyone, welcome to From the Veps, I'm Menti, and this is episode 46 of the Battleship Brawl Season 4 Tournament. This episode, the Danubia is becoming the active combatant after uh, defeating its last opponent and retiring it. And today we have a new ship, the Vehicle 207 by Kiwi Burb. Which, uh... There's not a whole lot to look at. <clears throat> Ammunition on the under underside, this sort of protective skirt, I guess. Around that, which... I think the ship would probably be better off without. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. A lot of flat faces on the, uh, the front here. It's gonna cause a lot of drag. Make this a big, uh, bumbling ship. It's got three turrets with three barrels each, only nine guns. Not particularly heavily armed, but they could be very powerful guns. Who knows? A lot of open space in here. Just taking a little peek. But yeah, we will see how this goes. I get the feeling that this would have been a, a an interesting ship for the uh, Funk Rome to fight with all the high, uh, high explosive. Sort of, uh, torn this up. Maybe I'll do that as a bonus battle later on as well. I have a few other ones planned. <clears throat> uh, but since there isn't a whole lot to look at on the uh, vehicle 207 here, we're going to go ahead and get into the battle now, and we will see how it fights. Doesn't look like much. See if it fights like much. It's firing some APHE, and the required accuracy before firing is not set properly. So the turrets are pulling the trigger before the barrels are aimed. Nubia landing some shots. Ripping out big ol' chunks. This wooden construction ship, but the turrets are surviving on it. Oh, I didn't see how the uh, 207's uh, return volley went. Let's see. It hits the deck, and it blew off a turret that time. But that flat, that flat, heavily armored deck doesn't give the. Uh, APHE shells a lot of, you know, place to get purchase to penetrate in and do damage. Basically just ends up detonating on the, uh, outside of the, uh, ship there. And that heavy armor turret cap and heavy barrels are keeping the guns pretty, uh, pretty safe from the explosions. Now the 207 just lost the turret. It just took a shot straight to that turret face. Yeah, that turret is done. And it has most of has been just utterly obliterated. Looks like we might have a ram coming in here. Oh, nope. The, uh, the Nubia initiates anti-ram procedures and backs away from its enemy. backward again. Seems like it is able to maintain the distance though, so I don't think a ram will actually happen. And it might be making this, I think it's making this rear turret unable to fire because it'll shoot the back of the head of its other turret. So at this range, it does allow the uh, 207 to get shots in on the side rather than the deck. So that, uh, wooden uh, a blade of armor on the side so far doing a good job of absorbing hits and <laughs> both ships just kind of moving forward backing up moving forward backing up and <laughs> unloading into each other they might eventually maybe be able to uh, move past each other Or 
less just putting the barrels of their guns right up against each other and pulling the trigger. <laughs> the 207 is uh, definitely on the uh, receiving the worst end of that stick, though. Down to 87%, while the Danubia is at 94. Although the Nubia has burned through all of its repair capabilities. Both ships firing shells into the stern. Uh-oh, looks like the Nubia may have lost engine power. Yep, you can see the engine piece is falling out there. It has gone dead in the water. Which is never good news for any ship. Losing maneuverability is bad. But then again... 207 is taking hits to the stern, and it looks like it may have lost some propellers in there. Not not many, like two, maybe one, more like one. The Nubia is stuck here, taking hits. But unless the 207 really picks up its repair rate and knocks out the guns of the Danubia. I don't think it's gonna be able to pull it back. So it is possible the gap is closing. The uh, hit, hit point gap, that is. The Danubia is just getting pushed along by the recoil of its guns and the explosions landing on it. And this turret seems to have uh, bugged out a bit here on the back. It's stuck. I'm not sure it matters anymore, though. That turret may not even be there. Nope, it is not. <laughs> that shell punched right into the, the perfect spot on the deck. arcing shell. Might be some barrel damage, yep. Barrel damage on that gun. Oh, the 207 is not doing so hot anymore. Oh, I thought it was dead in the water, but it is actually moving, but its other turret has been destroyed. It only has uh, one turret remaining. It's listing heavily, though. It's taking some significant damage. Also be out of ammo because it only fired one shell from this uh, triple barrel turret, or the the reload of just has just desynced that much. Yeah, for some that one barrel must have taken some damage and been able unable to fire and then was repaired or something because they're desynced really hard. Well, the Nubia is just. Getting pushed further and further out. If the 207 can maintain motion and keep itself pointed towards its enemy, then Hitumia may very well push itself out of bounds via recoil. Though not if the uh, 207 does an actual good job of keeping the uh, distance close. Which it seems to be doing despite, you know, being like 60% underwater. <laughs> oh, it keeps taking hits to this side and loses more buoyancy on the, uh, the left side of the ship here. As I'm looking at it now, it may very well sink. It is not having a good time.
that high arcing shell is gonna look like it's gonna miss. Oh no, just barely tagged the rear of the 207. Anubia is it's fire. Its rate of fire has dropped significantly. Oh, it's lost a good number of guns. gun right here? The only one that's still firing? Is it perhaps... Oh, wait. The 207 is suddenly too damaged. When did that happen? I think it actually got an 80% sinking and then it switched to too damaged after the despawn started. Yeah, you can see the 14-second uh, DQ timer. It got an 80% sinking. So that is the end of round one. The Nubia taking some significant damage there, but uh, still coming out on top. So we will get round two here underway and see if the 207 can step up its game a little bit. Uh, maybe get some better shots in on the Nubia's turrets. coming in and it's just going to absolutely shred the uh, mostly wood construction of the 207. Just bam. Giant holes. But uh, it does have a lot of blocks and a lot of space to consume the damage. So it is a deceptively tanky vessel. just doesn't have a whole lot of firepower. This time around, the Danubia is sitting at 100%. on the uh, 207 have been destroyed, or at least disabled. This one's pretty much destroyed. This one looks like a shell penetrated in. Penetrated in through the face of the turret right here, and then detonated in the back of the turret. It just blew everything away. Oh, and the rear turret on the 207 is also gone. So now it is basically 207 the pinata. <laughs> pinata 207. Its point and purpose in life is to become block confetti. <laughs> now that it has no weapons to fight back with. close to, to, uh, well, never mind, I was gonna say really close to avoiding, or to causing a ram, but then a ram actually happened. A minor one, but... Once again, this rear turret is stuck. I think it's getting, it's getting caught on these, uh, decorative things. It wasn't designed to fire backwards. Yeah, the 207 is just utterly shredded.
guess again I, I think it would actually be quite fun to see the uh the funk rome come up against this ship because all of this wood and stone would just get eaten alive by the 40 high explosive cannons on that thing it would be lots of confetti Well, this does have a lot of blocks to absorb damage, and thus it has a lot of health. Uh, also, the, uh, the air gaps and spacing in it help with that as well. That uh, doesn't matter when your turrets are as exposed and fragile as these are. Like, they did not manage to receive any hits and survive. Like, as soon as I got hit once, they were dead. And they're rather large, especially this one, it sticks up real high. It doesn't matter how strong your hull is if your guns are so un so uh, fragile that they get taken out as easily as this. Looks like the 207 might be close to getting another 80% in sinking here. Oh, those shells actually managed to hit the water and skip off of it before hitting the, uh, the 207 itself. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. The 207 is going. Yep, there it is. So that is going to be the end of this episode, folks. The 207 has been defeated in its debut battle. Uh, down in the description will be the links to the Hall of Beauty votes, as always, along with the other stuff. Oh, excuse me, suddenly yawn right in the middle of my talking. Go figure. Just had to ruin the ruin the outro body, didn't ya? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.